Hi guys, on this part we are going to create an Angular 4 application and we are going to create it using the Angular CLI. And after that we are going to configure the material design so we are able to use the material design components for Angular. So we are going to start by first downloading the requirements for an Angular application. You first need to go to download and install the latest stable version of Node.js which at this point is version 6.11.2. I have already downloaded it and installed, so I'm not going to show here how you can download and install it because it's straightforward. What you do after you have installed Node.js, go to the directory where you want to locate your application. Uh, on my case, I created a new folder, Angular with Material. And in here, I open the command prompt. And to check if the node has been installed, you need to write node version, and you should see that the latest version has been installed. And before we continue, Let's check if node package manager has been installed as well. For that we write npm version and we see that and we see that the latest version has been installed as well. As we said to create the application we are going to use the angular CLI but let's first install it. So we write here npm install. The G in here means that it will be installed globally so you don't need to install it for every project that you are going to create. You just install it one time and that's it. And here we are going to install at angular cli to install the latest version of angular cli simply write at latest make sure to check it by running the ng version command or simply v and in here we are going to see that we have installed the version 1.3 of angular cli which is the latest one at this current moment now to create an application using the angular cli we simply need to write ng new and the name of the project we are going to name our project angular with material and press enter so after the project has been created let's locate ourselves within the project and for that we need to change the directory by writing cd angular with material so now we are inside the project that we just created i have previously installed the visual code and that's the editor that i'm going to use for this project so to open the project within the visual code i'm going to write code dot and here we see all the files that the default Angular empty application comes with. So now let's run the application using the CLI. For that we write ng serve. So after the application has been served, we see in here that we need to open our browser and go to HTTP localhost 4200. So open whatever browser you want and go to localhost 4200. And this is how an empty application looks like. We are going to delete everything that you see in this view. So for that, let's go to source, application, app component.html. This is the file that brings the data to our view. So I'm going to save the changes. And if you go back to browser, you will see nothing because, because of the ng serve, the browser refreshes automatically for every change that we make. So the next step now is that we need to configure the material design. So for that, we go to their website which, which you can find on the material.angular.io. Okay, then go to guides, getting started. So the first step is that we need to install the Angular material and the Angular CDK. The Angular CDK is known as Component Development Kit and is a standalone package. The goal of the CDK is to give developers more tools to build components for the web. So to to first install the package, we need to write npm install, save, and then Angular material, material. This is the first Angular package. And the second one is the CDK. The, the role of saving here is that for every package that we install by using the save keyword, is going to add it to our package.json file, where here are all the dependencies of the application. Like for example, the animation, the comma, the compiler, etc. So we execute this command. CDK and material packages were installed. Now the next step is that if we want we could add animations but as we saw from the package.json file they were installed by default so we don't need to add that. And here we see the CDK and the material package that we just added. So until now we have installed and configured the packages but to actually use them we need to configure them as well. And the configuration of all the packages or the modules that we are going to use within our application needs to be done on app.module.ts file and here you first need to import that one for example let's say we are going to use a button in our view here we are going to write import md button module from angular material 
So now we have just imported in this file to configure it. We need to add all the modules within our import array. After you edit the button, in this case, we could add a checkbox module as well. We could import a theme. If you go to the Angular material folder, it's within the node modules, Angular, and inside here you should see material. Here you are going to see that we have some pre-built themes. To use them, we need to import them. So for that, we, are, we need to add an import in our styles.css file. And the styles.css file can be found in here within the source. Here you have styles.css. So we are going to add here an import. And the last step, which is optional step, you need to import this link on your index.html file. So for that, let's go to our index.html file. And just below the icon, you could add another link. That's all you need to do to configure the material design. Now let's run the application by writing ng-serve. So the application was built successfully and served. We go to the browser and we refresh the browser. We see that we don't have any error in our console tab. So this looks great. So now let's just add a simple button to see if everything works fine. So for that we just add a button and inside this button to apply the material design you need to write md button. Here you could write for example first material button and save the changes. Go back to the browser, you will see your button in here, click and you see that you get the material design effect. So on this part we learned how to configure the material design. On the next part we are going to learn how to publish an application to a GitHub repository.